what really kept you going i think ether has generally been in the indian ecosystem we've been the most unstartup startup out there we've sort of gone against most startup wisdoms and recommendations um there was no concept of build fast fail fast you can't with with vehicles um and this was a radically new concept for most of the ecosystem most engineers most designers and most investors a startup that is basically saying ki was pura vehicle develop kar lenge which will cost like 100 million dollars and maybe 300 people ka team over several years then we will launch and see kya hota hai right like that's thoda mind boggling most people are expecting run a pilot get some feedback do all that stuff we did bunch of it but nothing that can qualify as really testing out the market um a very long gestation period tons of money front loaded um and doing something that's firmly in the territory of big company uh, uh experience right we want to do hardcore engineering we want to do a ton of testing for which you need a ton of experience you need to really need to sit down and write standards of how to run testing uh you have to set up labs for the first time this kind of stuff You expect Mercedes Benz will do it. You expect Daimler will do it. You expect Ford will do it. Yeah. Um, Tesla will do it now. But you don't expect startups to do it. So yeah. Ethos sort of went against the grain on most of these uh, things. Um, people who believed in us hence were mostly non-startup types. So the first earliest believers I would say were three professors. Two other professors that I said, RKK and Dr. Sandeepan. and then professor junjun wala again in at iid madras these were three earliest believers who sort of backed us supported us encouraged us the first money came from an alumni of ours uh vish nivasan who himself was a founder in a uh, at a company in the valley uh, arrow spike he was the first 25000 lakh 25 lakh rupees uh, in the in the company the first real money however came a, a seri- serious money came from sachin and bini bansal they put in a million dollars uh, between themselves in december 2014 and that i would say absolutely changed the direction of the company um vishnuvasan sort of ensured that we could continue building what we were doing uh, but it was still garage stuff right we are still hanging on to the campus the like 25 lakhs 40 lakhs can't let you build uh something serious and they not give us enough to get to bangalore but gave us enough to survive for one year somehow and not die uh such and bini the two things first they gave us a million dollars and uh, that was the interest on that money was what we were spending monthly at that point so it just boggled our mind second that certainly gave us startup credibility so remember until this point we are a few people sitting out of a lab in iit madras or research park in iit madras we are not seen as startup material if you turn up in fundraise pitches we are like the pariya out there like kya bolo <laughs> research karna research karo why are you coming to fundraise here okay so nobody would welcome us and nobody knew over us but getting the investment from sachin and benny certainly put us on the map boss like flipkart founders putting in the largest check till now sachin joining the board of the company what's happening like company is serious and that that did make a difference because four months later tiger came in and invested 12 million dollars if Sachin Bini had not put in the million. Tiger would not have put in the twelve, and I think Ether would have become a very different company. Probably a very small and uh, a very different, uh, a shadow of its current self, if 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 those steps had not happened. So these were some of the earliest believers. 